The next step I want to show you is how to take a screenshot of your website homepage. And the reason we're doing this on your website poster is to give your poster a little visual appeal and a preview of what a potential viewer might see when they go to your website. So first I want to show you how you're going to take that screenshot. So I have a picture of your keypad. My keypad is a little bit different so I want to make sure I show you this here. The way you take a screenshot is you hold down the control button right here and then you hold down this screenshot button right there. And whenever you do that, it's going to send an image file into your files. So you're going to need to take this out of your files folder. So again, control and this button right here allows you to take a screenshot. So the next thing you would need to do is you need to go over to your site. So I'm going to open up my Google site and I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit to get rid of this top toolbar. I just want to have my from my banner down showing. And I'm going to take a screenshot again that would be control and that button that I just showed you. For me it's a little bit different so I won't even explain it. I just took my screenshot so I've now done that and I'm going to go back to my poster and I'm going to put that image in down here. So I'm going to navigate down where I want it to go. So I clicked enter to get down here. And then I'm going to go to insert. And I'm going to insert an image. And this is going to have to come from here. So I'm going to choose an image to download. And like I told you, I for you, you would have to go in and find it in your files. So it would be saved in your files. For me, that's a little bit different because I don't have a Chromebook. I'm simply going to paste it because it copies it. So I just did Control V. Again, you would go to Insert Image and then upload that image. I had to be patient there because my picture took a moment to load and to copy onto my page. But it did, and it was down here. It's too big to fit on the first page, so I'm going to resize that just by clicking in the bottom corner. Click in one of the corners to avoid messing up the proportions of your of, of your screenshot. We really want it to stay proportional so it doesn't look funny. I'm going to click wrap text and again that just allows me to bring it wherever I'd like. I'm going to navigate back to the instructions. It says here to make sure that this screenshot is cropped. So that's the next thing I want to show you is how to crop that. So I have my image selected and then I'm going to click right up here on this crop option and I'm going to get rid of the extra. I don't really need that URL at the top or my tabs and I don't really want to show the programs that I have open, not that I'm ashamed, but it doesn't really matter. And it just distracts from what I want people to see which is my website. Give a little preview. Now once you've made your crops those apply if you click outside of them like that and now this is I can move around if I make a mistake I can always get back to my crops it always reappears if I wanna move it back so the last thing I wanna do is add a border again so I'm just gonna click on one point border right here and now I have a nice neat border that goes around the screenshot of my home page so that is the next step in your website poster.